Okay, today we're going to talk about the circles quiz. This was on formative.com entirely, so I'm going to go through some screenshots of that quiz right now so that you can do better on your second attempt. So the first question is to match each color um, on the circle to, you know, the vocabulary word that it represents. So the black is that circle, the distance around the edge is called the circumference. The yellow is that very center dot of the circle. The blue is all the space inside. We know the space inside is called area. The green is halfway across the circle. It's called the radius. And the red is all the way across the circle, which is called the diameter. Um, because we know that circumference equals pi times diameter, then let me make this a little smaller. Then I know that um, if I divided both sides by the diameter, because of what we've learned about solving equations, pi is equal to the circumference divided by the diameter. So when I look at these choices, um, the ratio of the circumference to the diameter of the circle is what pi is. <clears throat> and then this is just memorizing formulas. The circumference which I just showed you is pi times diameter. The area is pi r squared. Um, the length of the diameter, so diameter is all the way across, and radius is halfway across. And so that since the circle in number five is showing halfway across, that's the radius. It's asking oh, whoops, for the diameter, so that would be twice as much, all the way across. Oh, my goodness. All the way across would be 10. Halfway across is 5. This one says, what's the length of the radius? It's given to you here. It's just 5. What is the area of a circle that has a radius of 15? So remember that the formula for circles area is pi r squared. So we do 3.14 times 15 squared. In our calculator, it's going to look like 3.14 times 15 times 15 again. So let me do that in my calculator. Whoops, 3.14 times 15 times 15 is going to be 706.5. What is the circumference of this circle? So we talked about the formula already. It's pi times diameter. This, though, is radius. The diameter, which would be all the way across, is 15 times 15.8 times 2, which is 31.6. So we're going to do pi times 31.6. And that gives us 99.224. The area of this is going to be pi r squared. They don't give us the radius, though. They give us the diameter. But if all the cross is 14, then halfway across is 7. So 3.14 times 7 squared in my calculator, it'll look like this. Which is 153.86. Make sure you're reading the directions. It says do not run and just enter an, a number, so don't put centimeters or anything like that in your answer. What is the circumference of a circle that has a diameter of 12? Circumference is pi's diameter, so it's just 3.14 times 12, which is 37.68. Find the diameter of a circle that has a circumference of 39.25, so we know the formula for the circumference of a circle is pi times diameter. So they give us circumference, and of course we know pi, but we don't know the diameter. So in order to solve that one-step equation, we would divide both sides by 3.14 because that's the opposite of multiplying by 3.14. So in my calculator, I'll do 39.25 divided by 3.14, and I get 12 and a half. Uh, but this, yeah, and this is the diameter, which is what they're asking for. Find the area of the semicircle. So if 10 is the diameter, the radius is 5. And I know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. So the area of half of a circle is half of pi r squared. So in my calculator, I'll put 0. 0.5 for half, 3.14 for pi, and 5 for radius. So I'll do 0. 0.5 times 3.4 times 5 times 5 is 39.25. To find the distance around this shape, it's going to be half of the circumference. I know circumference is um, pi, 
time diameter, so this will be half of pi times diameter. But that's only going to give us this distance right here. If I want the distance around the whole shape, I then have to add this straight line. So I'm going to add 10 onto this answer. So I'm going to do 0.5 for the half, 0.14 for the pi, 10 the diameter, and then add 10. So I'm going to do 0.5 times 3.14 times 10. And that's going to give me 15.7. And then I'm going to add 10 to get 25.7. Extra correct. What is the area of a circle that has a circumference of that? So I know that circumference is pi times diameter. So the circumference they told us is 138.16. We know pi is 3.14, but we don't know the diameter. So just like the problem we did above, I'm going to divide sides by 3.14 to get the diameter of the circle. So in my calculator, 138.16 divided by 3.14 is 44. So that's the diameter. But they're not asking us what, what is the diameter, they're asking us what's the area. I know the area of a circle is pi squared, so I'm going to do 3.4, and the radius is going to be 22 if the diameter is 44. So I'll do 22 squared. In my calculator, that's 3.14 times 22 times 22. And I get 1519.76. One more extra credit, find the distance around this quarter circle. So instead of it being half of a circle, it's a quarter of a circle. So the circumference is gonna be one quarter of times diameter. And then we wanna, that would give us this just right here. I'd wanna add another 10, and I mean, that's a 56. Another 56 and another 56 to close off our circle. So we know that one quarter is two five. Remember, these are the extra credit questions in quiz, so they're a little bit harder. What would be the diameter of this circle? This is the radius. So the diameter would be 112, twice that. So we'll do times 112. And then we'll add 56 twice to put those straight parts in there. So I have 0.25 times 3.14 times 112, and that gives me 87.92, but then I wanna add two straight lines so I can completely close off this hole. And I get 109, well, that's wrong. <laughs> I wrote that wrong. 199.92. So again, those last two are a little harder. They were the extra credit. Um, I haven't decided yet if there'll be extra credit on the bump test, but if there is, this could certainly be a contender. All right, guys, thanks for watching.